Infirmary Media. and welcome to episode 100 of the Video Rangers Podcast. I'm Mike Ranger. Sitting beside me is Chris Ranger. How's it going, Chris Ranger? What are you, an asshole? Oh, okay. No, that wasn't wasn't very nice, but uh, it's a way to start. Uh, especially since we prepared nothing for our 100th episode. But hey, if that's how you feel, you know, you know Chris Ranger's in the uh, Christmas spirit, I guess. I'm daydreaming at work. You're daydreaming now? I'm always daydreaming at work. I get all yeah. these stupid ideas. You're not the only one. It's such a boring job. I was like thinking of like changing jobs. And I'm like, <clears throat> what if I was like a daycare worker? And like, I'm, I'd probably be the only guy there. You're gonna be the you'd be the only guy working at the daycare. Yeah, yeah. Because I doubt they don't. What? Not that they don't make no hire them, but they just don't. People just don't apply for that. Yeah, I don't see that happening too often. And I'm like, I just like want to play video games with the kids. That's it. Well, I imagine if if I like, I imagine the women aren't going to do something like that. But if I brought like the like a Nintendo Classic in, they the kids would just surround me, and we like I'd like help them and we'd play. And so that you know, I did, I think I was looking it up and like forever like six kids you need a person so I could have at least six seven kids would fucking want to watch me play. And I could play Castlevania and I'll let them play like Super Mario Bros. three and shit. And then you just I'm watching these kids. I'm watching these yeah. six kids. You know, and like, that to be my job. But I find out they only make like 12, 13 bucks an hour. It fucking yeah. sucks. Yeah, that's not really a job you're going to, you know, support a family on. No. Nah. And then I looked up like how much daycare is. Yeah. It's like $1,000 a month. So like you're like, you're, you're like working slave wages. Like these daycares are taking advantage of whoever these workers are. You're working slave wages. The workers don't get much, but the cost of uh, daycare is expensive. I think it's actually more than it's like the grant. It's a thousand, twelve hundred dollars a month at least. I mean, depending uh, yeah. on how how much your kid's going to be there. Like yeah, depending on whether or you know, obviously, like uh, or something. a more reputable school is going to have them doing theater. But that's but like that's ridiculous, man. Yeah, it's, no, it's a fucking uh, travesty. Is so what? Um, is this going to be like what they do all day, or is this just like a, like a like a recess period? No, nah, I mean it would take me all day probably to beat Castlevania, so they could watch yeah, me do that. Definitely, <laughs> especially. <clears throat> probably, I don't know. All, I just thought day. it would be. I, I just even not even just playing video games. I could just play with the kids. I, you know, I, I play with my nieces and nephews. Like, yeah, I, I'd imagine I, this is what I pictured like the life in, a, in your daycare and like the women who do it, and it's kind of like they're annoyed. And the kids, you know, they don't play with the kids really. And they're like, they're just, they hate, oh, I hate that little fucking bastard over there. He's a dick. Like, you know, they say, well, smoking a cigarette on break. Like, I hate Justin. <laughs> He's a fucking jerk. And I'll just be playing with the kids, you know, roughhousing a little bit. She's going to roughhouse with the kids? I've also <laughs> heard, like, they they will not let the, uh, and if there is a male worker there, he doesn't, he, he will not be allowed to change diapers because... He, there's a possibility he might like molest them or something. So I'd be out of that. I want to change diapers. But isn't that a possibility for anybody? Why is it just it's gender specific? It's more likely for a man. I'm just really this is a society. I guess that's what they believe. I imagine if you asked the parents, would you like, you know, would you like Chris to change your kid? Or you? Or I'd be like, Marie? you know, I'm like this six foot guy working in this daycare. Yeah. I have to trim my beard at least. I don't look so scary. I don't know. I just think it's crazy. They're judging a book. That's the way it is. That's the way we live in. That's the world we live in, though. Like I've heard, I've I've read that. Like people, like like you know, talking like in like articles and shit, like bullshit, you know, little bullshit stuff, like on Reddit or something, where like you know, people tell like like ask Reddit, and like they won't let you. It's just crazy because sometimes you just like. Whatever happened to, you know, predictability? <laughs> so, now, 
You know, the milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. Okay. <laughs> I imagine all the daycare workers, all the women there would hate me because I won't have to change diapers. Yeah. And then Siku would be in love with me. I think if I... Because <laughs> like, I'm the only guy there. See, I think we should actually start this. I'm not like, ugly. Why don't, we, why don't we open the uh, Chris Ranger uh, <laughs> School of Learning and Development and... For kids who can't read good. Yeah. <laughs> And then you can like have like video game corner, and then corner. you know I can show them family matters. Let's find out if there's a kid who's a jerk and like not nah, out of here. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> go over there to Mike Ranger's corner. You gotta, go to Mike you, Ranger's you gotta watch side. Perfect Strangers all day. <laughs> you know, I love Perfect Strangers. So do I. Kid. I was eight years old. I watched Perfect it was great. Strangers on TJ Friday. Who doesn't like a guy from the tiny island of Meepos? I don't, I don't know why, but it, it, it spoke to me. Made me do the dance of joy. You know. But who wouldn't like just watch old like classic TV from the yeah. 80s? Gather around, kids. Let's watch Webster. He's your height. Right. <laughs> you know, like kids love Webster. He's cute. That's why I watched it as a yeah. kid. I watched Webster because he was tiny and because he had trap doors. And there's no other show other than Different Strokes where like the kids are the main character. Not really. really? Well, Brady Bunch. Okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, and that's but, that, but there's not many of those yeah. though where the kids are the main character. Like the the they're the reason you're there watching the show. Yeah. Like maybe full, leave it, full leave house it, yeah, a little full bit. House. But it's kind of down the middle. It's about a little 50, bit, that's about yeah, a fifty. A little 50. bit of everything. Uh leave it to Beaver. Yeah. If we're gonna go not way back. Many of those shows. No, but they're obviously they exist, but you're right, there's not that many. And ones. those shows, it's like ninety percent Webster, ninety percent fucking Arnold. Yeah. I felt like step by step was the Brady the Bunch of the nineties. Yeah. But it focused, family. Yeah, but it was like a more focus on the the parents managing this whole thing. I hate Suzanne Summers. I like Suzanne Summers. I don't like step by step. I hate that she left Three's company. She didn't leave, she got fired. Because she wanted more money though. Yeah, but she was getting paid like nothing compared yeah, to. I don't know. She's still yeah. in the left. You know, she was. They tried to sue her because, like, while while she's on the show, I guess she was kind of a stand up comedian a little bit. I guess and she would just do this. Is what you, this is how bad comedy was. You could just do your the Chrissy character on stage, and that was good enough for comedy. But that's where Balky comes from. Yeah, but that's like dirt. That's like dog shit to me. That's like that's not fun. Who cares? Like, yeah, you're Chrissy on TV. I don't want to see you do Chrissy here. But is she doing Chrissy before no. the show? That's what I'm talking that's about. Part of it was she was saying that because I've I'm the character, I own the character because I yeah you wrote it, but I'm I've made it my own. Okay, it's yeah, kind of like that. Um, that's different because like. Um, Andy Kaufman, like they, he was doing lockdown. That's up what before, I was just you know what gonna what I mean? bring up. He didn't want to do that. Yeah. People would yell at him. Yeah, foreign man. Yeah, he had the four. He actually had four men before. That's what I'm talking up. about. Yeah, like it, they. She didn't have Chrissy that's, before. That's what I meant. Was it like something they were doing yeah. before? And, and he, then, but he hated doing it after the fucking yeah. show got uh, took off. After taxi took off. Well, it wasn't supposed to be like that. Was like yeah. he felt that was like that was like the dumb humor. Like he, you know, he didn't yeah. want he didn't want to pander to people. He hated doing that shit, but that's yeah. what I mean. Like, I just hated that she left because like, yeah, they replaced her, but like, it was like, ah, the show's not the same. Like, you you were good as a character, yeah, but like, you kind of just ruined shit. And then like they they replaced the next girl. Like, I don't know what happened with that. And then the other girl had to leave for some reason. Yeah, well, and, you know, was, like Chrissy's cousin. You know what happened? Somebody just put their foot down. And was like, you know what? Three's Three's company out here. <laughs> then I'm like home. thinking like how many like. How many five or six year olds could you literally take on? Like, let's say like ten come at you at a time. Oh, then, you want to fight five or six year olds? Yeah, I'm just like I imagine like this. Is, like I'm said I'm bored as fuck at work, and like, like how many could you take on? Like if like, and a, I'm, and I'm putting my own rules, so only ten of them come at you at a time. So it's a royal rumble. After you get those ten out, another ten come. Do you have weapons? No. None. Just just your fisticuffs. No one. It no. There's no No one's got weapons. It's just just hands. Ten five year olds at a time. Just hands. Just hands. Um. Can I dip my knuckles in resin? No. And then into, that's, you can't no, do anything. Okay. It's just bare bare knuckles. Just bare knuckles. Um. Taking them out. How long could you go? And I get them in waves of ten. So waves it's of ten. Streets of rage. Uh, kind of something along those lines. All right. How big are the five year olds? Your is it a, oh, but average five? Is it a mix of boys and girls? Yes. What's the ratio? Is it 
Or no, it's more boys and girls. I'll okay, give you, I'll give you. I'll, I'll, so I'll only give, the I'll softball players are coming. Okay. Average five year old, maybe every now and then, a kind of a big one. Every now and then, but like we're not, a school just let out, but it's, and they're coming uh, <laughs> to you. <laughs> And, and, but, and, <laughs> wait a minute. Are they just five year olds or are they kindergartners? Because people can fail grades. So I just want to make sure everybody's five. Okay. Everyone's six. All right. Everyone's six. Everyone's six years old. All right. Is anybody turning I, six the next day or seven? <laughs> Baby. Okay. Those are the big ones. Get, I wanna, I'm taking on a horde here. I want to make sure that I'm prepared for it. I, that's understandable. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to punch these six year olds right? in the face. Wouldn't you love the. Oh, I'm going right for the face. We're breaking yeah. bones. Because fuck these I'm motherfuckers. I'm positive. For me, mm-hmm. it would be until I couldn't go anymore. Until like your arms are just so, dead. So you, okay, and, and then the other thing I had in my head, I got you got a week to train. So you want to get some endurance, you know? <laughs> you get a week to train. Okay. Because I'm just thinking, it's like I, I, I'm pretty sure I can go to like, I just can't go anymore. Yeah, dude, like, just I'm start. exhausted. Yeah. So it, it might, I, I think I can go at least at like, 48 hours. You think you can throw punches for 48 hours? Yeah, but you don't have to throw a punch. You just, like, mush them. Like, you just throw their head. Yeah, fair enough. But if I do not knock them out you cold. You can pick one up by his feet and use him as a weapon. That's a good idea. Right? I like that. And just, you find, you find the smallest kid, oh. that's the lightest, and just clock him. Are we in, like, a ring? Or is this just you the streets? You are in an open field. Open field. Okay, so I can bang heads into the playground, you know, like yeah. monkey bars, fuck them up. No, open field. There's no, oh, okay. unless you run, like, like the, think of a, uh, 50 yards. 50 yards, you're in a uh, football field. Okay. So you'd have to, like, run to the sidelines to bang their head against something. How long did the, the Warriors fought for, what, like eight hours? <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 However long it took him to get back to Coney Island, I guess about eight yeah, hours. I mean, <laughs> I think I can do about day and a half. Is it or now two days? Here's the question: Is it me and you fighting on like separately, no, or one, are we you're, like you're double dragon? Yourself. Right? You're all oh, by okay. yourself, so we're not cleaning up. No, uh, this is this is this is shit. I think of I'm crazy. I don't know. I mean, if you think about it, Golden Axe is like four or five levels. I mean, so it's short <laughs> game. You know. Like, I'm just saying, like they got even if they hit you, like even okay, you get tired and you just chill. How hard are they gonna hit you? You know, it's just more of the fact that you would think that they would all grab onto you and pull you down. You just, and, like you could like sit on, like you could like knock out. Yeah. Like okay, it's only at ten, so you could sit on the last one and rest. All right, so. <laughs> This, I can't do you could do that. Yeah, all right, that guy's <laughs> that guy's down. The other ten can't come, so I'll give. Okay, I have a little rule: every half hour, every half come. hour, ten come. So and, I mean, bang! You already got after the first one. You got twenty five. You got you got twenty three minutes immediately of rest. I see. I'm thinking of it more of like like how many like could I fight a hundred at a time? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Thing is, a hundred can't get you at the same time. No, Imagine, but that's the problem. They just form there's only, this. There's only, I don't know, maybe 15 could really get at you before, because, you know, there's only so much room. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if 100 people surrounded you, you're not getting through them. Yeah, but it's five kids, five-year-olds, six-year-olds. But they're, t- you know, One together. One and they're out. Together, they're strong, you know? But they don't punch hard. My my kid, my, my kid, my nephew punched me in the nose, and it smarted. But like he, you know, I wasn't expecting. He totally fucking sucker punched me. Yeah, you bastard. So, so what'd you do? So I beat him to death. Oh, I okay. mean, <laughs> so I that's, where you, that's where you got the idea. He was like, "Well, yeah. if I could, if I could take him out, I could take a lot he, more." I mean, my nose like it smarted, but I was like, you know, well, I was fine. It's and, funny. I, and I wasn't expecting it. You know, you're expecting this. No, no one's gonna it, punch you in the face. They have to little mac you. They jump up in the air to punch you in the face. And you're just standing there like Don Flamengo. And they need like, enough stars meh, meh. to do that, too. Meh, meh. <laughs> meh, meh. Meh, meh. <laughs> you're like Mike Tyson. You're yeah. just clocking kids. Yeah. That's who you are. You're like Goliath. I'll, yeah. I I want to, like, that should be like a 3D simulator or something. Like, how many? Right, that should be like, like the, the goat simulator. Yeah. And just do that. What would you call that? Like the midgets in like Kung Fu? Playground Massacre? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That's a good one. I like that. Big Brown Massacre. All right. Let's make that property. That should be a, a pretty cool beat em up. <laughs> be great. I'd imagine the worst part would be like just taking your legs out, I guess, right? Because they get to bend down yeah. and punch them. But I, I, the best thing you did is just pick a kid up and swing them. In him. the beginning, you'd just be throwing them. Uh, but, man. Yeah, because one hit, they're out. They, oh, yeah. They're once out. once they're, they cry, like, he might be alive still, yeah. but he ain't coming back. Yeah. They're not like rabid. They're not rabid. Like, um, they're not zombies. Well, they're not. What, what's that? Um, 28 days later. They're not rabid, oh, right. rabid people. Because there's a movie straight. called. Um, they're rabid for two seconds going after you. Yeah. But after you hit them, whoosh, they're done. There, Whether you kill them or not, it's on you. There's a movie called Cooties mm-hmm. that uh, came out a couple, like a year or two ago with Elijah Wood. And they basically, it's like the chicken nuggets at a school get infected and all the kids turn into zombies. And there's like five or six teachers that are fighting for their lives. That sounds <laughs> interesting. It was, it was all right. It wasn't great. It's but Fighting for their lives. It was like a comedy kind of. It just like you, they, they would stand no chance. It would just be told, I'm exhausted. Yeah, but it's funny because they're like picking up like, you know, the fire extinguisher and hitting kids in the face <laughs> with it. You know, it's just... And it's like, uh, what's his name from Parks and Recreation is in it, and he's just funny. Yeah. The guy with the mustache. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. I know you're talking about. I think he's in that. Name. I forget now. He probably isn't in it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably isn't in it. I just want him to be. <laughs> oh God. So what? What else? How long uh, could you last? You didn't answer the question. Well, I. I would you say two days I until you fell asleep, till you were just exhausted? I don't think I could do two days. Well, I think okay, two days. Okay, well, like, I mean, like, how long could you hike up a mountain? You know what I mean? It's the same question because just how long could till you like you're like I'm, but yeah, I'm but exhausted. If, I gotta fucking stop. Um, it's the same question. You know, it's basically the same thing. I think an hour before an I could, hour. I think an hour till you're exhausted from from five year olds. If I try to punch a punching bag for five minutes straight, yeah, I'm but tired. you're not punching that hard. And they're not punch you. You can. I don't want to go too cocky into slap this. Them. I want to be realistic. You know, like fucking. I don't. All right, fine. At least a day. Four like a hours. Twenty four hours. I think. I mean, I'm in bad yeah. shape. I don't know, man. I. You know what? I. I'd have to give you a better. I could answer you after my week of training. You just had a Red Bull too, and your week of training. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, like, you, got, you got a cooler Red Bulls. Yeah, but that's like you know, quick burst energy. <laughs> I might have a heart attack. I'm getting older. <laughs> You could get, kick them too. You could, you could, but I broke my toe. Think about last it. You week. could kick like four of them in one swipe. That's true. You know what would be the best though? Just tackling motherfuckers, like running through them, like the, yeah, right through the O line. Run through them. Like, like, yeah, like they set up like yeah. an offensive line. You yeah. just plow through yeah. them. Yeah. Ding, 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 <laughs> Their best ding, bet ding. is you trip over them. Yeah, you just pretend you're juggernaut and just take yeah. them out. <laughs> 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 That'd be fucking awesome, man. Oh. So what else you got on your on your list there? Because we're getting good reviews on uh, Chris, oh, Chris Ranger's uh, takes on life. Oh, we're getting good reviews from who? Uh, uh, Dane from uh, VHS Bandits likes it. Okay. Um, and I believe that Doug from Movie Madness Podcast enjoys it quite a bit. I'm trying to... Let me see what, what goes together on my list, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I won't do the, because you haven't had time to do this. You want to do the guilty pleasures? Guilty pleasure. Well, we can. The if TV you want. shows. Yeah. We can okay. Do it if you want. So there's certain shows, obviously, guilty pleasure. So it's like, it's kind of a dopey show, but you like it. Yeah. So, like, I just made a list. You don't have to, like, a number, but I just thought of these few shows that off the top of my head I could think of. And, like, I really liked um, Quantum Leap. I thought that's a good show, though. Yeah, but it's kind of hokey. I it like gets, I like, I like Quantum it. Leap, it's a solid but, show. Yeah. For the most part, the ending kind of is disappointing. I wouldn't be embarrassed to tell somebody that I watched Quantum Leap. Yeah, I wouldn't either. You know, but I still I just still think it's a guilty pleasure. Yeah, I think I, I think it qualifies. What um, else? What else you got on there? Sliders. Did you watch Sliders? All right. See, that's where I'm thinking. Like something that's like kind of low quality. That was a cool we just show. Kind of the idea it. was really cool. Yeah, but I they, really they didn't it. have the budget or the technology to pull it off. Kind of. Well, it was like '95. Yeah. The graphics weren't, you know, the special effects weren't so spectacular. I remember Sliders um, though. I watched the per, the pilot. Did early. you watch Heroes? Yeah, I watched the pilot too. What, Heroes like on NBC. The, the one from the 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, the first season I watched. And then. It, the problem with that show was the writer's strike hit. Yeah. And it went really bad. 
after that. I remember trying to get they into it. They didn't wrap anything up, and I just kind of yeah. quit watching it. But I really liked it when it first showed up. Yeah. Save the cheerleaders. Save the world. Yeah, no. I, this is, uh, I thought it was cool, yeah. Number one, it's MacGyver. MacGyver's a good show. See, yeah, I but it's kind of like... Eh, no, I... kind of like at the same time, like... Look, there's but that, it's a good show. Yeah. The, Fundamentally. The thing about MacGyver is we all tuned in to see how he was going to get out of these situations. Mm. How many times can he use tape? To get out of something. He always had duct tape. He always, always had fucking to. tape. I mean, but, and then MacGyver got hokey because he, then we had to start thinking of ways for him to fucking do his shtick, but like, it really Still. doesn't apply to survival. Like yeah. the Christmas episode. That was awful. You know? Like the way that they, remember in the Christmas episode when he like, the thing they he moved did, the ring they, or something? Yeah, how did they move this big thing? They, you know, they wasn't, it wasn't... Was, that was terrible. It wasn't him getting out of a life. That was all it was. You know? And I get it. Like, okay, they're trying to do something different. But like, oh, we got to still put some MacGyverism in there. Yeah. Like, I, one of but my favorites sucked. episodes is is the episode where he... Uh, he bakes the brownies in the woods. Yeah, when he goes camping <laughs> with the... With, yeah. When he goes camping with the street toughs. He takes a warring gang out together. Like he, yeah, yeah. he just happens to get two rival gang members. No, like, he gets that's a good idea. Two guys that hate each other because one guy supposedly killed his brother. <laughs> They're like oh, both Christ. there. Why would you it's put like them the together? Movie Bad boys, like you raped my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my father, or something like. Oh, didn't he kill his little brother in Bad Boys? I forget, man. I don't and know. then he rapes his girlfriend after he gets out. Is it Death Wish? <laughs> All right, never mind that. I don't know. Well, I see. Did you, I was, watch, did you watch the new MacGyver? No, there's a new I've MacGyver. Seen, yeah, it's on CBS. I Holy watched shit. one episode like a year ago. What are they doing? Is it like a new series or like? Yeah, it's like the same kind of thing. Oh, so it's not like a continuation. No, no, no. He's a young guy, it's even though that would guy. make sense. It's not. Um, Why can't it be like MacGyver is like the head of uh, like what's the, his name? Richard Dean Anderson. Yeah, he's not Big Dick Anderson. This guy had a hell of a mullet. Hell of a mullet. See, I was thinking more like shows like Xena Warrior Princess. That's another one. I liked that too when I was a kid. Yeah. And like a lot of the I, like the Hercules show. Hercules, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. What are yours? Yeah, like a few like the um, Hercules show is something you could come. I, up- you know, I actually didn't really watch the Hercules show. I guess like I watched the first the first season. There was when it first premiered. It was a movie. It was like a two hour movie. Yeah. And then eventually they like made a series out of it. I'll tell you what. You know what, man? I watched Blossom. I like, yeah, I used you to watch the clues after uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, I liked Blossom. I watched, um, what's another one that was like kind of kind of weird like that? Oh, I watched Sister, Sister. Yeah, I like that. You, Did you know? watch Smart Guy? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, you know what? Actually, a lot of my guilty pleasure shows were on Nickelodeon shows. Okay. You know, because I was a little bit old, older. Like, I was watching Keenan and Kel, but it probably was like a year or two, like, past my when I should have been watching uh-huh. that. Oh, you're you know? you're younger than me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> There's one joke I just got to say this real quick on Blossom that is just for whatever reason is stuck with me. It's which not one? good. I can only imagine six ass. I think six ass Blossom. Has you ever seen like a grown man naked? You ever seen a grown man naked? Something along those lines. She goes, you ever seen a naked guy? And she because she's lived with she lived with two boys. Yeah. And she goes, yeah, kind of like a partially decorated Christmas tree. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. Uh, okay. That's what she says? That's what she says is the answer. I'm like, Holy, that's descriptive. It's kind of like... Why is it... A, wait a minute. But why is it a partially decorated... Because girl Cause, has a bottom and a top to look at. Oh. Oh, okay. The guy All right. Gotta now jump. I'm getting it. All right. Well, so that means that no, she... No, just kind of like... For whatever it is stuck in my fucking head. And I really like... It's kind of a mediocre joke. But it just... It just sticks in my fucking head. I just laugh at it. It's just kind of funny, though, because it's just like, you're just like, wow, Blossom's seen her dad's dick. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? I didn't want to lead into that. <laughs> I was going to say that for the next one. Oh, that's all right. That's where my mind went. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll go that way, then. Okay. So... <laughs> This is one of those things where, like, maybe, maybe someone out there, you ever just like totally forget something from your childhood, and one come, day it comes rushing back. Yeah, this topic certainly fucking made it happen. So, um, so my 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 parents separated when I was a baby, pretty much, and so you didn't well, get to see your dad's dick. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
when I'm, I'm like five or six, <laughs> and I went. We went on vacation at okay. a cabin, and we're just with him and my brothers and his new wife. Okay. And oh, you know, and they only have it's only a shower. It's not a bathtub. I only took baths. You know, you gotta take any, and I probably didn't even take one every day. Yeah, it's my mom. Like you know, whatever. I probably, no, she's I busy. Probably, I probably bitched about it whatever. every other day. But oh, so it's your, you know, Chris got to go in and take a shower. I'm like, well, I don't know how. I've never taken a shower. I don't know how to do that. Like, All right. So I'm, ex- I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty smart kid. I thought, I don't know, you just like, like I don't know how to work the knobs. Like that's, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Like make it the right temperature. I'm thinking maybe it'll just help me with that. I don't know, and just. Make sure I can like grab the shampoo without like up too high or something. Yeah, he gets in the shower naked with me. Okay, right. and so I'm naked and he's naked. This and is 1986. This is 87, have, 88. So the Mets have won the series. Okay, something like that. <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, probably 85, 86. 86. Yeah, All right. okay. Yeah, okay. 1986, first time you is. saw your dad's dick, and in my and like my stepmom's there. And I don't, you know, I hate her guts. She's a worst. She's terrible. <laughs> and I'm like, is this okay? Like her to sing me and him naked? And I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Like they kind of laugh it off, probably. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I mean, like, dude, like, your dick's in my face <laughs> like, for the whole shower, like, yeah. And I guess he just washed me. I don't know. Like, I don't just think, like, the whole time, like, this is one, not, if I knew this was going to happen, I would have just, like, faked it or something. Like, this was terrifying. Okay. I, I, now, I wasn't, like, molested or anything. And, like, you know, I get, you know, there's certain, like, the, okay, I had, I have a son now. He will never see my dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right? It's not happening. <laughs> now, I, and then, yeah, I might take a shot, like, I, if he's a baby, baby, and like I got him, and he's going to shower, You're saying, I'm not even going to do that because I might drop him. I don't know. It feels like he might see slippery. Okay. But anyway, when he can walk, he we're not getting naked together. It's no. Not happening. As soon as he makes those first steps, because that's when you can remember stuff. Yeah, and you don't want him to have this memory. It's it's terrifying. Bam! I'm like, oh my god, that happened. It like just shot in my head. Shot in your head, huh? I took a shower with a man. I got to check that on a box if someone asked me that question. You took a shower with a man. You saw it. At least if it's your father, though. It's yes. a little different. Well, I've never best. taken a shower with another but, man. Like, I'm like, this, oh, my God. I can't believe. Like, this is this is not what I signed up for. All right. So my experience would be a little bit different. And, okay. I, I don't mean to cut you off because the next question is, how many times have you seen your dad's junk? Well, that's what I was going to get into. Okay. Because, all right, so obviously a little bit different situation. Um, so my father, you know, had given me a shower prior to this a few like times. Like they didn't just let you in there? No. So they like, kind of helped you out yeah. in the same kind of vein. Yeah. But you didn't get it. No, I know, but the thing is I've never, I don't have, I have no memories of my mother doing it. So, you know. Okay. Like, so I've never seen my mom's flapjacks or anything. <laughs> you know. So... Yeah, like no, I definitely re- recall a few times of my he got dad in the shower doing with that. You? But this is like, you're like five you're or like four earlier. years old. Um, yeah, I'm not like seven or anything. You know, yeah, what I mean? I'm like five. Yeah. I'm pretty no, sure I'm about five but or six. Tops. I've seen my dad's dick way too many times, way too many times to the to the point where when you said when you brought this topic up yes. to me, I instantly like got a picture in my mind of what his <laughs> dick looks like. First things first, he's Greek, right? So he's uncut. It's very no, no, no. He's circumcised, but it's dark as shit. <laughs> like, which explain, which is explains why mine looks like it has a suntan. Sure, you know, but like, yeah, it just I've seen it way too many times because my fucking father is just like he's like a Neanderthal. He pisses with the door open and his pants like down at his fucking ankles. I think he uh-huh. does it because he's like, yeah, my house, motherfucker. You know, I, his dominance. Yeah. I it just, so you've seen it ten times. More than that. Way more than that. With the bathroom I, I'm open. saying probably five, six times a week from fucking. Oh, week. You know, yeah. Oh, so several times. Yeah, all the Multiple, time. Multiple several all times. The time. My dad would walk around the house fucking naked. Mostly because he, he didn't give a fuck. Mostly because he knew that we were all pissed about it and he would just do yeah, it he, to fuck. Yeah, yeah. He, like fucking. Yeah, yeah but fuck the him, thing yeah. is, like, every now and then somebody would be in the house, you know, like fucking. But he still didn't care. Oh, God. So I've seen it twice. My dad's, right? Not your dad's. My dad. Oh, okay. The second time, 
at the same cabin for vacation, but I'm like like 13, so I'm a smart math now a little bit. Okay. And he, we're eating breakfast, and he comes in in a robe. And, it's, you know, it's not, like, closed exactly enough. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, I go, like, hey, Dad, put the mouse back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> put the mouse. I like that. Yeah, I thought so, too. I'm going to call my dad up and say that, like, when I leave here. <laughs> um, But you've, wait a minute, you, I think you have seen my dad's day. Maybe, I don't remember. Were you at that party at my house a couple years ago? Where he was walking after the tequila? I might have missed that part. He broke his hand trying to break boards? I think I might have missed that part. You you missed that? I have it on tape. Not the naked part, but when he broke his hand. Yeah, I might have been somewhere else. Because our intern was there. I wish I was there. Our intern was there, that's why I I'd love to see your dad's dick. Yeah, I (laughs) come over sometime. He doesn't shave. (laughs) Of course not. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Okay, so that's the mic check. <laughs> that's it? I, yeah. There, there you I have think it, that's folks. It up. That's about it. Uh, there you have it, folks. Gonna put, uh, yeah. the, this is the story of... Uh, oh, God. A boy named Chris Ranger. Finish it up. I'm sure. <laughs> Who saw So if you have his... stories about your dad's dick... Uh, reach send out... Us, <laughs> send it somewhere else. Yeah, we want to hear about like your, the stories about your dad's dick. <laughs> Yeah, I always thought, like, real quick, like, you oh, my God. I always thought, oh, it's bumping uglies, you know, and yeah, yeah, they're not the most, the prettiest I- items. No. But I always like, like, your, like, a penis. It almost like, it's like, like, if a clown was, was a different species of creature, that's what its genitals would look like. You know? Because <laughs> it's just so funny looking. <laughs> Like you know, like it just—it just seems like it doesn't fit in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to. Say. I don't know. I don't right. respond. To I'm this. just—I'm just shooting the shit. Yeah. Now, we, now. All right. So. Okay. We're just ended there. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Good night and good luck. Stay classy. Infirmary Media.